Hello, everybody. It is Al Knight, and it is Brony time, and welcome to another reaction. Uh, we're continuing Gen 4 Revisited with Season 2, Episode 10. So let's go. No distractions. Today is too important. Free shelving day. Ah, uh, yes. Everyone's priority. Understanding medieval Equestria goes in Oni history. Modern spellcasting, that's classic. But having magic makes the it so much list. easier. Actually, I kind of want to read that again. <laughs> Spike, what are you laughing at? You broke my concentration and you ruined my book. Myself. That is a fate punishable by death. I've been aging it for months, and it's almost ripe. Aging it. I love how, like, gem. You literally can age gems so dragons can eat them. It's like. Hey! You took my advice! I just use the whole floor as one big shelf! <laughs> Honestly, that's kinda me. Hello? Any pony home? Twilight! That's me and my sister's relationship, especially right now. Secret of My Excess by M.A. Larson. And totally delicious. Uh, if you guys don't mind. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, I just came by to see if you had any books on historical fashion. Did you say delicious? Sure did. Next week's my birthday, and this is my birthday dinner. Start with this one. Thanks, Twilight. I've got a feeling Ruffle Top of the Capes are going to make a huge comeback this season, and I want to be ahead of the game. I hope it's as tasty as it is beautiful, Spike. I've never seen anything quite so stunning before. Gosh, you really like it, huh? Like it? It's magnificent! Then you should have it. This beautiful gem was meant to be with you. Wow, so generous. And that's this one way so you can win fun. rarity over, oh, is by being generous. <laughs> and he's gone. So uh, it's, it's just, it's that's still too weird, man. The, the age difference is way too, it's... Done. I've never seen Rarity the so age, happy. maturity, never like, just way too... Huh. <laughs> I don't think that is ever possible. Just about finished, Spike. Every pony will be here soon. There, perfect. Everything looks perfect. <laughs> Not quite everything. Uh... <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, no way, Twilight. I said I wasn't going to wash the cheek that Rarity kissed, and I meant it. Ugh. It's over, Spike. I'm cleaning the <laughs> cheek. <laughs> ah, the mom and son relationship. Wait. I know not to question it, but what? Are those for me? You bet they are. But if she was focusing on teleporting Spike, I don't get it. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Don't you know you get presents on your birthday? Well, actually, this is my first birthday in Ponyville. I usually just get one present from Twilight. A book. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of presents, That's the thing about gifts. Like, you need to get perfect. something like I'm gonna make one for that you think they would like. Wow. I've been inspired by the generosity of my little spiky wikey who gave me this beautiful fire ruby. One of the kindest acts I've ever experienced. Mm. 
It's so weird. It's weird. Applejack, I can't thank you enough for this great blanket. I really needed a new one. Come on, Spack. You already thanked me 15 times. I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. I know I keep thanking you guys, but I'm just so grateful. I wish this party could last forever. Duh! This party can't last forever because you have to go to Sugar Cube Corner because the cake said they have a special surprise for you because it's your birthday! No way! Oh, boy. I said the party could last forever, but it doesn't need to end right now! <laughs> Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Cake! There's the dragon of the hour. Happy birthday, Spike. Uh, oh, boy. When we found out it was your it birthday, begins. we couldn't resist trying out a new recipe. The danger of Summer. gifts. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Now. But now. First, I get a bunch of great presents from my yeah, best friends. Yeah, I remember this episode. Sapphire cupcake. Oh, what a day. Wow. Look, it's Cheerilee. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Cheerilee. That's okay. What's got you so excited? Pinkie Pie told me I should come see the cake. So they could give me a treat because it's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Spike. <laughs> I wish I had something to give you. Uh... Oh! Here you go. Uh -huh. Really? Sure. Every pony should get fun gifts on their birthday. Have a great birthday, Spike. I wish every day was my birthday. Oh, boy. Pinkie Pie mentions my birthday to the cakes, and I get a cupcake. I mention it to Cheer Lee. Nah, he's gonna take hat. the wrong message from this. Now he's gonna... S okay, yeah. Starts to want things... Hmm, I wonder. Hey there, Lickety Split! That's a pretty cool ball you got there! Lickety Split, you know huh? Birthday? <laughs> this <Wow>. is unbelievable! <laughs> oh, now he becomes a greedy little. <laughs> greedy little. Hey, shit. Goofa. It's my birthday! <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Spike! Well, aren't you gonna give me something? You know, like you a birthday don't... present? Um, I I don't have anything. Well, how about those flowers? I'll take those. Spike. <sighs> uh, sorry, Junebug. I think Spike might have gotten a little carried away. Uh, no problem. Uh, happy birthday, Spike. What are you doing? You're out here demanding gifts now. Wow, you're right, Twilight. I don't know what got into me. Thanks for snapping me out of it. I better go give Cheerily your hat back. No problem. See you at home later? Sounds good! Bye! Deception. Who else has a present for Spiky Wikey? Ugh. Now he's becoming reptilian. Greedy. Wow. What like a, a greedy nice dragon. Like he had the weirdest dream. Guess it wasn't a dream. Where'd you get all this? <gasps> oh no, he's going through dragon puberty. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? What did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! <laughs> huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, he's literally just a what common animal. Book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so... Grabby! My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? 
take him to the vet? What? Well, but... now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will guy not feeling too good? <sighs> okay, okay. Who's the brave one? <laughs> so, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon. He's a dragon. That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. <sighs> oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, oh, oh, no. Thank you, doctor. <sighs> I don't know well, why I'm I thought promised. that was a vet. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. What? Thanks anyway. Come on, Spike. They just go to Zakora. I don't understand why they just default to go to Zakora. She's always the one with the answers. <laughs> Ooh, he is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. How could you not hear? <laughs> wow, he just... She just took everything. <laughs> like, how did you not notice? Even if you're in the middle of a conversation. Hey, Spike. Check out this amazing broom. God dang. Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible room. Like that's gonna work. He still has plenty of stuff he could stake. Stake. Take. Man, that training, <sighs> job Spike, training really fried I my brain. Messing with Fluttershy. Fluttershy? Fluttershy! I'm up here! What happened? I was helping my squirrel friends with a dance step, and all of a sudden, a giant rampaging dragon stormed through? That was Spike! Spike? But why would Spike steal my chicken coop? He just pulled it out of the ground and filled it with a bunch of apples and stuff. Pinkie Pie. 
shot. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. How dare you take the cake? He's completely out of control. Who knows where he'll go next? <laughs> the look on her face. It's a face you never thought you'd see Pinkie Pie make. My god, he wants rare oh that's dark, man. Of course he stole rarity. Put me down, you brute! How rude. Don't worry, Harry. We'll save you. I don't think that's how mains work or hair. Guys, it's like the angel and devil on your shoulder. Yeah, because they were useful the last time something went down. Oh, so we're doing the King Kong thing now. For that, <laughs> make a crime against fashion. I make so many crimes against fashion because I just don't care. They're like those colors don't match. I'd be like, whatever. It's it's a shirt and his pants. It's like casual wear. I'm not gonna put that much effort into just casual clothing. You take it. It would mean even more to see you happy than to eat it myself. I... I don't know what to say. This is just so generous. Oh, what now? I suppose you'll be eating me or something. Spike? You're the rampaging dragon? I don't know how you didn't put that together, but okay. Yeah, dude, it was so obvious, dude. How could she not pick up on that? There. The, the ship should have been dead. Right here. You know, 
the Wonder Bolts are kind of useless too. Like they, they, Rainbow Dash builds the Wonder Bolts up, but like both times when they've tried to like help, they failed. Spike, I just have to tell you how absolutely proud I am of you. Proud of me? Yes. It was you who stopped, well, you from destroying Ponyville. You are my hero, Spikey Wikey. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about friendship. Well, you might think that it would feel good to get lots and lots of stuff, but it doesn't feel nearly as good as giving something special to some pony you really care about. Well, I learned that it truly is better to give than to receive, and that kindness and generosity are what lead to true friendship. And that's more valuable than anything in the world. Well, almost anything. Oh my god. Oh, alright, so that's that episode. The, it's kind of a mixed bag with this one. I really enjoyed it in some areas, and in other areas, I'm like, eh, it's okay. Uh, that's gonna be really hard when we get to our Season 2 tier list when we're all said and done, but, um, whatever that is. I honestly, after I start my job this week, I have no idea when that will be. But, um, we definitely won't be getting through Season 2 before that starts, so... Um, yeah, I feel kind of mixed. It's it's going to be really hard to place this one. But uh, I'm curious as to what you guys all think. Like, was it really good? Or, or did you feel like how I felt about it? But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have time for more content. Also, please share this video far and wide across the internet so we can continue to grow the channel and, you know, hopefully catch all those people who are desperate for some Gen 4 reactions. So uh, I will see you all next time.